Welcome back to Sam's Salvage Yard. Today we are looking at a whole bunch of 164 scale trucks that have come in for a drop off to be processed, added to this giant yard filled with hundreds of older cars, trucks, and pieces of heavy equipment. Right now our operator Bill is processing some surplus military trucks, emptying out some engine oil and uh, other fluids, contaminants to this pristine land. Here's an example of one of the trucks fresh in for processing. It's a 1980-something Chevrolet C70 grain truck with what looks to be a blazer also in the back for junking. A couple more of those style trucks are slated for processing today. We've got a C65 tanker truck as well as another grain truck to be added to this junkyard. And in the back, we actually have a few of those already. Looks like a propane truck by Armstrong up there in the forest. Another grain truck. And that orange tanker truck came in not too long ago. Sitting beside the big old heavy-duty RV. Lots of cool things in here today. And uh, we're going to start by reviewing those trucks and adding them to the junkyard. Well, the first step to this processing is getting the trucks out of the package. And by packaging, I do mean these awesome green light packages. All these trucks that you're about to see are made by green light, true 164 scale. And we've got a range of vehicles from various different series and sub-series. Here first is that 1980 Chevrolet C70 grain truck. So I've got two of those. It is just so cool, a weathered old truck. Perfect fit for the junkyard. That's from the SD Truck Series 15. And from Series 16, I chose the 1985 Chevrolet C65 propane truck in this interesting red and white. And finally, another C70 grain truck. This one's beige and brown from Series 17. SD Truck Series 17, I managed to get the full three vehicles in this collection, which includes a 2021 Mac LR electric rear-loading refuse truck, as well as this 2019 Mac granite dump truck. That's a heavy-duty machine. Now moving on into the HD trucks. This one is from Series 23. The 72 Chevrolet C30 ramp truck with a 1976 Chevrolet Chevelle. Laguna stock car matching livery and rounding out series 23 a full three vehicle set is the 2019 step van Chicago police as well as a 2013 international Juristar box van with Canada post on the side of it another 2013 international Juristar box van this one is a UPS van and is from series 24. Let's get all of these trucks opened up and see if we can find a home for them in the junkyard. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get these trucks out of their packaging. We're going to put them all out on the table, have a quick look at all the details, then send them over to the junkyard for processing. Maybe not all these trucks will be suitable to be scrapped. We do have a lot of newer trucks in here as well, but perhaps they can be of some service while we're looking at placing some of the older trucks, such as these C65 and C70 grain trucks, into their home as well as this C30 ramp truck and Laguna stock car. First off, one of these trucks just isn't enough. I really like these trucks a lot so I've gone ahead and picked up two. And the last truck, big old Mac snowplow. That thing is massive. This is a really cool assortment of trucks that we've got here and a wide range of uses in these trucks, what services they would provide, as well as just a ton of details incorporated into the models by Greenlight, the manufacturer of these models. I'm gonna zoom in on the first smallest model that I have here. It's the C30 ramp truck with the Armor All protection livery on the side. Very cool rendition of an older Chevy truck converted into car hauling purposes with this die cast metal ramp piece on the back and true dually tires. Very cool. Let's check out the car that goes on the back, which has an opening hood 
and Goodyear tires, as well as that Armor All racing livery and stripes. Underneath the hood, we've got a really nicely detailed engine. And check out that front grille and headlights. Super nice car. A shame to see it go into the junkyard, but luckily it will not be processed completely. This dual exhaust equipped Laguna will find a resting spot somewhere for a good long time. Most likely with its matching ramp truck. Now another really cool truck, in my opinion, are these C70 grain trucks. Found far and wide across farms in North America and perhaps elsewhere. This truck has a lifting rear box with hydraulic. Diamond plate base. A metal chassis. True dually tires. And a really well detailed and proportioned cab on this truck. Which can serve many purposes. In addition to the grain box. Matching this truck in design is the weathered or rusted version. As you can see, the paint has faded in what uh, has been renditioned over a long period of time. The roof and hood have a higher fade rate than the fenders and doors, which is quite accurate. We've got simulated rust on the sides of the box, Chevrolet mud flaps, and full details all the way around. Differences in the wheels are down to the colors only. Very heavy duty die cast trucks. Now the C65 is a slightly lighter duty truck, although aesthetically looks pretty much the same. We've got the propane tank on the back, LP gas, with the placard and correctly 1075 hazard two. A whole bunch of pumping equipment and hoses on the back. This vehicle stops at all railroad crossings, it even declares. I really like the red and white paint combination with the yellow grille. Placard correctly placed on the front as well. Let's do a comparison side by side to the C70, which does feature a higher stance if you put them wheel to wheel. Perhaps if just only slightly. And a lot of nice details right up to the badging and identification of this truck. The next truck we're looking at is the Chevy Stepside truck. Delivery van. It's got a walk-in door. Opening rear doors here at the back. A whole bunch of lights on the roof in the case for this police version. Now, we did have a flat tire on this particular van, so that tire has been taken off for repair. However, uh, the van is not quite old enough to completely scrap, so we will be repairing that van. Next up, and very cool, is the 2019 Mack Snowplow. Check out the dog right on the front of the hood cowling. All those details. Super realistic, giant plow. And a whole bunch of axles and tires. All metal truck. Got a big salt bin, perhaps, on the back. Streets and sanitation. That's the department. Also a Chicago truck, so you'd find both this and the step truck in the same city. Doing different services for the city of Chicago, of course. Moving on to the fully electric refuse truck. DSNY Clean Air. You've got the sanitation. Placards on the sign. Mac Electric. Giant generator on the back, perhaps. Multicolored cab. It has an orange Mac dog and Mac emblem on the grill. Really cool. Um, I'm not sure what this container is here for. Perhaps a spare tire. It's unclear to me. Perhaps you guys know. You can let me know in the comments if that is the case. Although this does not have any functional working parts on it, it sure shows how these trucks work. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that opens up. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to open up. I think it does, and this one might just be a little bit stiff. However, I am not sure, and I do not want to break the truck moments out of the packaging. So for now, a really heavy-duty, cool display. Finally, 
We've got two 2013 International Juristar delivery vans. This is a casting that Greenlight has been making for a long time. And again, serves many purposes from tow truck to tanker truck, flatbeds, and this box truck with functional rear doors. As you can see, the inside of the truck is highly detailed. Rivets all the way around the side. And again, dually axles on this heavy duty truck with a full die cast box. Next up is the UPS delivery truck. Featuring the Worldwide Delivery Service, 1-800-PICK-UPS, right on the side of this truck. Featuring the same level of detail on the inside of the box, although this one appears to be painted black. Another nice heavy-duty truck to add to the collection. These, again, aren't quite old enough for permanent scrapping in my yard. So that means today we will be placing all of the C70 trucks the C65, the C30, the Laguna, and the rest of the trucks, they might take a little roll, but they're not there to stay. Well, it's pretty clear that Sam Salvage Yard is filling up. However, we have made some room and put one of those C70 grain trucks in here next to a C65 tanker truck. And quite a pile of trucks and vehicles forming in the center of the yard. What we're beginning to call the island. The island of scrapped cars. As it turned out, the Laguna was a little too far gone. Rusted frame rails and whatnot. So it is piled up on top of an old Mercedes four-door car in there. And uh, we're not sure what's going to happen to it. But here are a whole bunch of those other trucks piled in here with some other recent vehicles for processing bill's just getting ready he found a yj that needed to be moved and that's just alongside this c70 grain truck most likely that jeep is going to find its way into the box just as this big old chevy pickup truck did on the other c70 red grain truck so that's what's going on with all of that the rest of the trucks as we suspected weren't going to be ready for scrapping just yet and however the plow on the mac truck doesn't seem to want to come up so we're unable to roll it through the junkyard as it's just digging in on the dirt that's causing a bit of a traffic jam behind it we've got the mac full electric refuse truck the chevy step side with its flat tire also blocking the way and so those final two Jurstar box trucks aren't going anywhere for the time being but rest assured, we'll keep making room for more and more awesome acquisitions to Sam Salvage Yard here. So stay tuned, come back soon, and see what's new.